Welcome. In this module, we're going to talk about ASP.NET security hardening. And the um, model that we're going to use or the checklist that we're going to use is the OWASP ASP.NET cheat sheet. And this has been updated in September 2017 or very recently. Now, based on the, um, you know, in the, in the previous modules, we had talked about an eight-step methodology for, for software security hardening as well which is based on our eight-step methodology of, of um, security hardening in general. And step number one, if you remember and recall, was that we need to do the research on what controls or what checklists we can apply based on what IT asset we're trying to secure. So um, the control set can change based on that research which you will do. And for every different situation, for a different time period, for example, for two years from now, this cheat sheet, uh, you know, right now it's 2017, but in two years from now, this cheat sheet may be old. And whenever you are going to secure an IT asset, you always need to follow the eight steps. Step number one, research the controls. Based on the situation at hand, you may come up with a different set of controls. And that's really the job of the information security professional to find the most relevant, effective set of controls to apply on the IT asset. And this is the URL for the um, uh, controls, control set that we're going to review. So the OWASP uh, cheat sheet for ASP.NET, which is available on the OWASP website, talks about guidance on uh, the .NET framework, on ASP.NET web forms, and on ASP.NET MVC. So on the uh, first part, which is the .NET framework guidance, the um, control set that we're looking at right now talks about data access, encryption, and general guidelines. And let's take a little bit more detail at the data access part. And you know, let's take a peek or a quick view on what type of controls are being suggested here. And if you're an ASP.NET developer, then you will be able to understand this very, very easily. If you're not a web, a web developer in ASP.NET, then, uh, then this will be um, information for you. And um, you know you can look up more information on on the internet. So for .NET framework data access guidance, the instructions or the guidelines are use parameterized SQL commands for all data access without exception. Do not use SQL command uh, with a string parameter made up of a concatenated SQL string. Whitelist allowable values coming from the user. Use enums, triparse, or lookup values to assure that the data coming from the user is as expected. And a lot of uh, very specific ASP.NET terminology being used here, as expected. Now, continuing, the guidelines are, apply the principle of least privilege when setting up the database user in your database of choice. The database user should only be able to access items that make sense for the use case. Use of the entity framework is a very effective SQL injection prevention mechanism when using SQL Server, prefer integrated authentication over SQL authentication. Use always encrypted where possible for sensitive data for SQL Server 2016 and SQL Azure. And this is uh, the .NET Framework general guidance. And you know these are the, the type of controls and just trying to give you an idea on what type of controls and what depth they are covered here. So it says lock down the config file, remove all aspects of configuration that are not in use, Encrypt sensitive parts of the web.config using ASP.NET underscore REGIIS dash PE. And for click once applications, the .NET framework should be upgraded to use version 4.6.2 to ensure TLS 1.1 slash 1.2 support. Now, the next part of the um, control set here talks about guidance for web forms. And um, many organizations are still using web forms, and it talks about three areas, HTTPS and some general configuration, um, HTTP validation and encoding, and forms authentication. And finally, for MVC guidance, um, ASP.NET MVC model view controller is a contemporary web application framework that uses more standardized HTTP communication. And because it's a contemporary web application, so here, for the MVC framework, um, OWASP recommends that you should look at all of the OWASP top 10 um, uh, controls, and there are 10 of those, and uh, you know control or apply the security controls based on the OWASP top 10 guideline, which you can go to the internet and look up. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.